cousin. To what do I owe this unannounced pleasure? I just wanted to see how you were doing. I'm compartmentalizing. I'm Tony Topaz. I was supposed to give you the full animatronic tour of Southside High, but some of the robots went insane and started killing the guests, so. Because you are a jealous, spite-filled, starving, emotional, anorexic. You Northsiders and your privilege. All you do is demonize the South Side, so of course it's not demonizing, Tony. It's stating facts. There's way more drugs and gangs. The and drugs you mean, which were sold primarily to North Side crackheads. Good Lord, Cheryl. I don't know who's more controlling, you or my mom. Josie, what you did, saving me from that next same creature. It's a debt I'll never be able to repay. Cards on the table. I'm not interested in being anybody's rebound. I'm more into girls anyways. Uh, I usually do the honors. Not today. Cha-cha, I was born for this moment. I will not allow Riverdale High's above average GPA to suffer because of classrooms that are overcrowded with underachievers. Why don't you come over here and say that to my face? Happily, Queen of the Buskers. Okay, guys. right before Christmas, and then it seemed pretty serious. Like, what time? Serious. Enjoy your couples only weekend. Kisses to all. Bye now. Did you just tell Jughead that Archie and Betty kissed? Yes. So what if I did? Did you at least have a reason? Hi, I'm Cheryl Blossom, AKA Cheryl Bombshell. I need no reasons. Feel free to tremble. I have a better idea. Why don't you tell me what's bothering you? Because you're in a lot of pain. Get your sapphic serpent hands off my body. Let me guess, some cherry cola for Cheryl Bombshell. Oh my god, why do you keep stalking me? I'm not. He came to see this movie with Fangs and he bailed on me. Are you okay? I'm alone at the movies and I'm trying to stay away from my mother who has turned our house into her sexual playpen. So no, I'm really not. Well, I was gonna go grab a seat alone unless you want some kind no pressure. You may think you've mastered the art of silent tears, but I saw you crying during that movie, Cheryl. Everyone thinks I'm this loveless monster. But it isn't true. I loved someone who loved me. Her name was Heather. She was my best friend in junior high. Until one night, my mother caught us in the same bed. She said I was deviant. You have to know your mother's wrong. You're not loveless. You're not deviant. You're sensational. Cheryl, I agreed to come to this full reading, but I didn't agree to a makeover. Unless it involves that blouse. I'm merely augmenting it for the occasion. What is going on in here? I'm a friend of Cheryl's from school, and she's lending me enough for the full reading. Why on earth would you be there? I invited her to be my emotional support. Well, I don't think there's any way you amateurs are going to top that, so practices over, Vixens. In honor of Tony joining our squad, I think we should celebrate with a mandatory slumber party at Thistle House. Full disclosure, I didn't want to invite all the girls tonight, but I knew my hideous mother would never allow me to invite just you, which is what I crave. Blossom, hi. I'm looking for Cheryl. She wasn't at the hospital with her nana. No, she's gone. She left us last night. You've gone mad, and you leave us no choice. What do you mean, no choice? But it's all right. We're gonna make you all better. Mrs. Blossom, that doesn't make any sense. What do you mean Cheryl's missing? They'll come here again. I think they did something to her. 
Go ahead, girls. Ask your questions. You said Cheryl was away at some boarding school. The truth is that Cheryl started exhibiting strange, deviant behavior. Antoinette to pass to the principal's office. Hello. She's not far away. Nina Rose? Cheryl, she's nearby. Nina Rose, where is she? When we get to the main building, what happens then? We search each.